Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Chakwadash. We just say the name of the Heavenly Father, in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the ancient Hebrew tongue. Also, want to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who grew well, the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. And also want to send out a hearty shalom to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so in efforts to waking up the hopefully elect of the nation of Israel. This is your brother Karab from the Great Millstone, Miami, coming back into another spiritual spill. And as usual, nothing written down, just flowing through the spirit. And at best, I'll quote precepts. Okay, um, um, you know, obviously, uh, uh, this is the day of atonement and um, you know just another reason for us to be thankful man you know because as we know this is a day that we make an atonement for our sins okay um, you know unfortunately that we continue to accumulate you know uh, but the difference is with, uh, with those of us who are who uh, come back to repentance to Yahweh by Shemal Shai, and uh, you know those that willfully sin, is the fact that um, you know we're under the law of liberty, okay, and um, which means we've been made free from the bondage of sin through the sacrifice of our Lord Yahweh Shai, okay, uh, which ultimately He is the atonement, okay. He made the atonement for the nation of Israel, and more importantly for the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, but it says, as it says in uh, the book of Romans, I believe it's the 13th chapter, it says that all of Israel shall be saved. Okay, so technically he made an atonement for the whole nation of Israel. Um, you know, and, and, and when you, as the scriptures say, you know, um, all things work to the good of them that love the most high. And obviously we love the Heavenly Father. And the only reason that we can love him is because he loved us first, as the scriptures say. And, um, you know, and we, we use that as it pertains to the, the good and the bad. OK, and I don't like to say bad because um, if you learn your lesson, it was for your betterment. You see, if you slip and fail, like the scriptures say that a righteous man would do seven times and you get back up. Okay, you're going to learn a lesson. You're going to learn a lesson. And the beauty of this thing is our Heavenly Father is the ultimate Father. Okay, he, he created the vibration of fathers, right? So when it comes time to be chastened, okay, or, or to be reprimanded, you know, oh, uh, what's the other word I'm looking for? Um, or reproved. Who else better to do that than our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through his son, Yahweh Shah, right? Okay, but when you, when you, you know, there are certain things. Well, let's speak on the high holy days. Okay, when you look at the high holy days, they, they have been set up to do what? The main thing uh, they were set up to do, obviously, is to give obedience to our Heavenly Father. You see, but these are things that he doesn't have, he doesn't need to do, <laughs> you know? He created these ordinances, right? But really, he created them for us to draw nigher unto him. You see? And that's why I always push that vibration. And I'll, whenever I say it, obviously, it's inspired uh, by uh, the inspiration comes from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? But I'm speaking to myself first and foremost. We all need to be more thankful. Not that we're not thankful, okay? But we need to be more thankful, you know? Because uh, seeing the times that we're approaching and how everything is coming down the pipe, okay, we're gonna need him more and more, you know? Like we do right now, we need him more and more every day. You know, just uh, uh, having a conversation with the beloved uh, brother Zaquan Yagadal out in uh, Houston. And, um, you know, not going to get into the conversation, but, you know, he, he pretty much capped it off by saying, you know, what would we do without this brotherhood, man? 
okay, which ultimately was given us via Yahweh Shemiah through the Spirit, through the Holy Spirit, right? Okay, but what would we do without the tangibility that we have? Okay, now we, hey, we believe in a power that we can't see. You see, we, we have hope in, 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 in something that's, you know, really not tangible. Like, I can't touch a chariot, okay? I can't go and touch a, a, a nuclear missile, even though I can see it, you know? I see the silos, and, 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 and but I can't see 200 million nuclear warheads cascading down on this bitch and uh, simultaneously being uh, beamed up into a chariot of the Most High. You know, I, I haven't seen that. You know, we, we don't go through a, a, a simulator, right? It's like, yeah. We don't go through some type of simulator, um, you know, to, to get us prepared, like, you know, like an astronaut would or, you know, or a fighter pilot, you know? We just got to believe, you know, and I always push that vibration within the camp and amongst brothers, man, only believe, you know, because the opposite of believe is to be doubtful, you know, or forsake, you know? So like, like I was saying, like we're, we're uh, 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 solely walking on faith, man. And we know what faith is, you know? The substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, you know? So the Heavenly Father puts, uh, 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 you know, uh, these ordinances and specifically, like I was saying, these high holy days in place, you know, for our betterment. So we can draw nigh unto him, you know? Because it's, 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 about, it's about to get gangster. That's what I like to call it, you know? The times of trouble, uh, 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 you know, perilous times. And we see, we see the inner workings of it. We see the makings of it. Why? Because the Heavenly Father has given us uh, uh, the lot of seers, prophets, okay? And to the believers, hey, the, the prophets are doing the grunt work via Yahweh Hashem Shot. We are not doing this of ourselves. The Heavenly Father is, is prompting us to do these things. So that what? First and foremost, the ele uh, uh, the the um, the elect, okay, of the nation of Israel can come in. And first and foremost, starting with who? The prophets, okay, the prophets of Yahweh Hashem Shot. But what do the prophets do? They push the word unto the elect, okay? The men, women, and children, okay? That are not uh, in a lot of prophets. That may be helps, you know, uh, uh, wives and children of the prophets to do what? To prepare their minds for the times that are coming, you know? And it's an absolute beautiful thing that we're a part of, man, you know? And in, 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 in the scriptures say that he's, he, he would never leave nor forsake us, man. And, and every brother in this ministry that is walking sincerely can attest to that, you know, from their first day in his faith up until now, you know. And, and what I'm noticing, the camaraderie and the bond and the love and the commitment to this ministry is strengthening. Hey, the elder apostles were going into uh, juggernaut. Uh, I believe a couple weeks ago out on the street, if I'm not mistaken, you know, and that's exactly what the Heavenly Father is creating within us, man, okay. or, or, or uh, collectively with this body, you know, making us a juggernaut. And like it says in uh, 2 Thessalonians, you know, the Most High is going to consume our adversary, okay, Esau, Edom, with, with, with his mouth, which is who? The prophets. Okay, then our Lord Yahweh Shai is going to return with the high holy host and consume him with the brightness of his coming and take him out of power, you know? And these are all things that are hoped for. This, we, don't, we don't have uh, uh, evidence of these things, and we don't need it, okay? Because it was written. That's our evidence, the holy scriptures, you know? If, if, if a nigga can't get it, we're moving on, you know? Why? Because we're fully persuaded in our mind. And I listen, I can't fully persuade the next brother in his mind. 
he has to be fully persuaded in his mind. Okay? So let alone a, a non-believer, nah. Mm -mm, we're not going to consume our thoughts with that. Okay? We're going to constantly press towards that mark, uplift one another, be the best brother you could be, you know, be the best uh, uh, husband, father that you can be. Why? Because it shows our Heavenly Father that you're thankful, okay? And mainly through our obedience. I did a show on that uh, not too long ago. That's what real ultimately draws us nigher to the Heavenly Father, our obedience to Him, you know? And, uh, you know, uh, these high holy days have been commanded. You see, now obviously we're rehearsing, okay? We're rehearsing the righteous acts. You know, and as we speak, you know, this is uh, uh, yeah, my ninth, ninth time doing the uh, 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 the Day of Atonement, and um, you know, I had to I had to pray, you know, because you know, like with anything, you you, you gain more experience in it, it it, it becomes uh, a lighter load so to speak. I don't want to say it's easy, you know, you know, nothing about what we do is easy. Okay. Cause easy entails what that, that broad, that broad, uh, entrance or, or that wide gate, you know, but we, we have all the tools that we need to the point where that it's not rocket science. It's not the hardest thing on the planet to do. Why? Because as we understand it, uh, man's goings are of the Lord. So everything that we encounter, everything that we've uh, had to endure, the Heavenly Father has put on our path in order to what? Refine us, make us that that, that pure gold, man. And that's why you gotta you gotta uh, 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 relish in the moment, man. You know, like the scriptures say, you know, sometimes chastening is, is not pleasant. You know, but understand what is being done for. You know, it's all about having that mindset and and, and seeing the bigger picture. Okay, like our Lord Yahweh Shai. You know, being on that cross, seeing the glory that was set before him. You know, because hey, in the Garden of Gethsemane, it got, it, <laughs> you know, for lack of a better word, and I just like to say, forgive me if I offended you, brother, but it got gangster. It got gangster in that Garden of Gethsemane, man. Okay, to the point where, you know, hey, you know, the apostles fell asleep on him. Like, what's going on, man? You know, I'm, I'm about to have my, uh, 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 my, my hour is coming. You know? And y'all, y'all, I've had y'all back all this time. You know, I'm speaking as a man. You know, I've had y'all back all this time. And then y'all gonna go to sleep on me? You know, and, and it got, and it was really, it was just him and his, and his connotations, man. Him, uh, uh, uh reflecting on what he had to do and being in the flesh. Okay, obviously he has spiritual powers, but him being in the flesh, he got weak. Just like we get weak to, from time to time, but he's the he is the perfect example. The scriptures say Mark the perfect man. Now obviously, okay, when you go into that word perfect, it means to have integrity, and we have a lot of perfect men. Okay, that minister unto the flock and unto Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay, that we can follow after, you know, that we can mark. But, you know, it's, it's levels to this thing, man. And, and the perfect man was our Lord, Yahweh Shai. And you mark him, why? So that you could walk in his likeness, like we're commanded to do. Now, are we turning water into wine, uh, healing the sick? Well, uh, <laughs> I... I'll leave that one out, but are we, because the reality is uh, there are a plethora of stories of brothers praying for brothers that had infirmities and have been healed. You know, I myself, you know, just throwing that in there, you know, I, I won't say I hate to testify of things that I've been through because it's a part of it, but you know, hey, it's all about humility. But I myself have received prayer from uh, uh, righteous men Okay, men of the Lord and have been healed. Okay, I've witnessed, you know, uh, 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 with our bishop lawyer, him being healed, okay, from a, a, a 
terminal illness, a deadly disease. I've witnessed that. Okay, so I can't say we're not healing the sick right now. And obviously, we ain't doing nothing. Okay, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is doing everything, but he uses men as vessels to manifest things here on earth, right? But the point I'm making, we're not turning water into wine. Um, you know, uh, we're not raising men from the dead. But as the scriptures say, the works that our Lord Yahweh Shah did, Lord willing with those men, we're going to do and greater. And if you look at how everything, like I mentioned, how everything is coming down the pipe. And looking at our adversary, Esau Edom, the self-proclaimed white man and his, his sentiment and his uh, sadistic uh, plots. We, we're going to need to do the works Yahweh Shai did and greater. And the acts of the apostles. We're going to have to do greater things than that. See? Like the apostle Paul getting bit by an a, a, a adder. And living, man. And do your homework, brothers, on the adder, man. The adder, you don't want to get bit by an adder. Mm -mm. You see that big ass head that the adder got? That's because of his venom glands. Huge. He'll fill you up, baby. You know? But the Apostle Paul, hey, just shook it off and kept it moving. <laughs> and the, du the dudes that saw it, beheld it, were wooed. So when you fast forward to these times, it's like a brother getting shot in the head with a with an AK-47, a, a 7.62 round in the head and, and shaking it off. But see, these are the things that need to happen. In order for us to endure the times that are coming, as the scriptures say, Revelation 12, 12. Okay, uh, Esau Edom is going to come down like, uh, uh, you know, uh, with wrath, great wrath. Why? Because he knows that he's he's about to get his ass off that off his off his high horse, off that throne. He's going to take that goddamn crown off his head, you know, and you, you step back and you look at it. And and I hate to say this, but play devil's advocate. You, he don't want I don't. I can understand why he wouldn't want to step down. Look at the power that he's amassed. Look at the authority that he has. He has dominion over the whole planet. Which was given to him by Yahweh by Shemel Shah, by the way. But nonetheless, he has dominion. As the scriptures say, uh, uh, the most high, uh, 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 um, you know, uh, what's that, Psalm 75? Um, he put it down one and set up up another. Okay, because the reality is the Heavenly Father dwelleth in the kingdom of men. He's the one that ruleth in the kingdom of men. Okay, he's the one that appoints these kings. But, a hey, rightfully so, like Job 9 and 24, the earth has been given into the hands of the wicked. So it's his. And what king have you ever heard about in his secular history, scriptural history, that said, you know what? I had my fun, you know, hey, I, I, I popped all the women I wanted. I drunk all the great wine out of all the best vineyards. Um, you know, I got, I've, I've had 5,000 kids. You know what, I'm, that's enough. Okay, the next person can rule. Nobody's ever done that. Okay, and, and the reality is when, uh, uh, Lord willing, well, one way or another, but Lord willing, we, we get out of here on that first resurrection. Okay, and uh, the kingdom of Yahweh Shemiah Shah is established. We're not gonna want to come up off the throne because the scriptures say, "I have, se I have not seen nor ear heard what the Most High have laid up for them that, that, that you know that seek Him." Roughly paraphrasing. And, and Esau, in this wicked, sadistic, bullshit, decrepit ass kingdom, if he don't want to step down, imagine where. There's a kingdom where wherein dwelleth righteousness. Okay? Israelites living in complete unity. Nobody going off. And when the heathens go off, you crack they goddamn skull with that rod of iron. And then we praise Yahweh by Shah. We ain't going to want to get down off the throne either. And rightfully so. You see? Because then we'll start will be living in the lot that the Heavenly Father, um, you know, uh, uh, created this thing to create it uh, for us to dwell in. Okay, going to that word Eden or Idan, it means uh, 
uh, paradise. And that's what the Lord created for. And you look around, even in this low, decrepit state that the earth is in, there are some absolute beautiful places. You know, here in Miami, I mean, this place is absolutely disgusting as far as spirituality goes, morale, uh, 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 integrity, absolutely fucking disgusting. But nonetheless, you come down here, I can take you to certain spots. I can take you to South Beach. I can take you through Coral Gables. You know, I can take you to certain spots and you'd be like, wow, it's beautiful. You know? But what, what has happened? Okay? Unfit rulers have been set up and, and, and you know, caused the degradation of this place. And, okay? And, and, and more specifically, Esau Edom. Okay? Who's some kind of fucking way uh, found out how to put holes in the ozone layer <laughs> or put trash in space or have one, I believe it's 1.8 trillion or uh, was it trillion? Either way, it's still a lot. 1.8 trillion or billion pieces of trash floating in that Pacific vortex. Okay? The Lord is going to destroy him that destroyed the earth. You see? So, yeah, brothers, hey, you know, days like this and the high holy days and just every day, you know, being in the faith, be thankful, man. You know, because every day that passes and our salvation hasn't come, it's another day for us to draw nigh unto him. Hey, perilous times, the worst times of ever. And that's that's heavy to say that Jacob's trouble is going to be the worst time ever. Daniel 12, a time like never before. That's heavy, right? But as the Apocrypha says, that is for the wicked. Second Ezra, that, those times are for the wicked. So let's meditate on life and atoning, okay? For the things that we've done wrong. By what? Constantly obeying and being obedient to Yahweh by Shem Shah. Okay? So yeah, just wanted to throw that out there in the spirit, man. And um you just keep fighting, brothers. What else you gonna do? Okay, and as you see in this image, we got all the reasons to fight. Our, this is our reasonable service. Kwam Yashala, Baba Ba, Shalawam, and Barak, uh, Barak Yawam Kapar, Shalawam.